Hey guys, good to uh, talk to you again. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of explanation about uh, our activity that uh, we're doing in class um, the next time we, we see each other. So um, you don't want to take notes on this, just pay attention, make sure you watch it, um, and you should be good so that uh, when we come in we should have um, not too many questions. Okay. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to continue our talk of atomic mass. In the first video, you learned how to kind of calculate it um, in kind of a simplified form. We're going to be using that idea and just in expanding it into um, the snackium activity that we have. Um, unfortunately, if we're in class, you get to eat some of this activity. Um, in this one, you just get to look at some pictures um, and go with me. So uh, I'm going to kind of show you the why and the what, and then uh, in class, we should be able to get right to work and kind of have fun with it. Um, so again, remember um, we talked about isotopes before, and isotopes are um, the same proton, right, but different numbers of neutrons. And so when we start adding, when we start adding protons or neutrons, sorry, um, we increase the mass number, or another way to say that is atomic mass or average atomic mass is what we're going to calculate. And you can see that at certain points, like we found out last week, um, they become unstable, which is um, because of that ratio of protons to neutrons. So one thing I want to show you is, is this. So we can have these guys open and we're not going to play with this, but when we, when we turn this on, you can see that this hydrogen, hydrogen one, right, um, or in its symbol form, one over one hydrogen, is 99.9885% of all the hydrogen in the world. So when you're drinking water, almost every hydrogen molecule in that water is going to be this guy. But every once in a while, you might get a hydrogen two, right? Um, because you can see that um, 0 0.015. And now that doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not a lot comparatively, but in every, in every glass of water, you're going to have a few of these because there are millions of molecules of water. So even though that's really low, this is, this is where we get our heavy water um, called deuterium. And then this tritium, right, there's just trace amounts. Like we don't even have a number up here because it's so much smaller. And the fact that it's now radioactive or unstable is part of that. And we can do that with lots of these atoms, right? We can take in carbon, and we saw this before. Here's our normal carbon, again, 98.9% of it. Um, then we can get into carbon 13, 1.07, and we can get into carbon 14, right? We're just traces again, but even this trace is in our body, okay? And so all the elements, um, for the most part, on the periodic table, we can do this for. All right, and you can see, oh, we made this lithium-8. It's shown 0%, so that's not even a type of isotope, all right, um, which is, is kind of cool to know. Uh, so that's what that is. So the idea of isotopes could come in, but I want to show you something else. If I can not click on myself. Mm. Go here to mixture. So the reason we're talking about this is this. So this is, if I just gave you a picture of nature's mix in the... Um, in the atmosphere, right? And so this doesn't even have hydrogen three on it because it's so rare. But you can see if all these purple ones were hydrogen one, you know, we'd have one hydrogen two. And if we did the same thing for carbon, right? And we looked at nature's mix, we'd have carbon 12, we'd have carbon 13, and it, there's a little bit more percentage wise compared to the carbon 12. So we can do this with all of these different elements on here. And if we were in class, we'd actually play with the simulator a little bit. Um, but we're just we're just not going to um, today. So then we have these carbon 35s and carbon 37. And you look at, and all of a sudden you can definitely tell in this chlorine there are um, a lot more of the green ones than there are of um, than there are relative compared to the other ones we've looked at, right? So I'll open this up if if some of you just want to play with it. But there's nothing that you have to do on it. I'll just link it so you could do it. But what we're going to do is we're going to do these calculations with what I like to call snackium. I just want to show you that right now, um, and so we're going to go through we're going to go through this data, and I use check mix. All right, uh, these are all bags. We're going to go into here, and I'm going to have you get in your own groups on your group slides. So these are all individual um, Google Meets locations. Um, this video is going to be posted here. I'm hoping you watch it before because it's going to be mandatory. If you don't, or else it's going to be harder to do. Um, get into your um, your groups, join your group lab, right? And then you're just going to talk to each other and you're going to go through it. But the basics is this, all right? So you have two slides. 
Um, so one, I just have this random mix. This is like nature's mix, okay, of, of our isotope. So it's, it's, I'm giving you a picture of kind of what that looks like. Right now, in this case, we have a lot more parts and pieces. And that's what I did for you over here, okay? So you have these, these um, wheat checks, and you have these rice checks, and then you have the squares, and you have the circle pretzels, right? And you have the rye crisps, and you have the bread twists. And so when you open up the lab, you see all those, and we have a text box for that. So I'll show you that right here. So when you open up your lab, um, it's going to look like this. Okay, so there's some pre-lab questions that you can do. But basically, I have your, your um, text boxes, again, all set up for you um, of what you need to do. So you're going to count up the number of pieces. So you got to look very close. This is definitely easier. This one's definitely easier to do if you're live and in person. But you can blow it up and then just make sure you count, you know, very, really, really closely. Um, and that's what your group mates can do and come up with the same number. So you have wheat checks, rice checks. All right, um, the circle, the square, the right crisp, the bread twist. And you kind of have that throughout. And then we have total mass, um, which I'll show you an average mass. Right, so these are what you're going to get from my pictures. And then you do some calculations on that later, where we got to find the isotopic percent abundance, which is just percents um, relative, but it's taking the amount of each snack divided by the total number. So once you get this, once you count up all the snacks and you add them together for the total number, you're really just taking this number divided by this number for each of the individual snacks to get the percent of that total, which you guys should be pretty um, easy, able to do. And then for the last data table, this is the weighted mass, right? Which you take your average mass, this number right here, for each individual snack, and then you're going to multiply that um, by the percent abundance, right? And because we're leaving in percents just so we, we have them up, we're also going to divide by 100 at the end. So we kind of, we multiply by 100 here and we divide by 100, but just so we can see those percents, that's a nice way to do it. Um, and you can see in the video, we never want to actually multiply by percent, so we're always going to move the decimal. And that's what we're really doing mathematically here. And basically, once we get all these, right, which are isotopes, we just add them up, and that should get us our average mass, okay? Um, but you're going to see when you look at other people's data, they're not all going to come out the same. So we'll go back to this, all right? And so you can see, here's our nature's mix. Okay, we took a scoopful and wham, there it is, right? And I have this up, so your goal is to count up all these. And then on your second slide, what I did is I took the pictures that you would take. And again, you can kind of, you can take a look at these and you have editing rights, so, you know, you can just blow them up so you can take a better look and then bring them back down so you know exactly what you're looking at and all that good stuff, okay? So make sure, you know, I have all your data for you you and then you just have to do your calculations and every group I, just, I opened up five different uh, boxes you can see they're not all the same right that's the beauty of this is everybody's gonna have slightly different information our goal is to figure out um, is that good is that possible and, and why okay so hopefully um, you enjoy this when we do it and also making sure that you watch this so you have an idea what you're doing um, going in between because actually every group needs to use each other's data by the end of this thing to answer our claim evidence reasoning. All right, um, have fun. We will we'll open up with this Thursday, Friday, and uh, you can ask me questions and hopefully just be able to get to work.